Jason Owen here from Play It Software. Today I'm going to take you through the brand new features in the brand new Play It Live version 2. So the first thing to talk about are the new dark and light themes in Play It Live. So feedback from users has been that in dark studio environments, uh, the very bright user interface of Play It Live was causing a lot of eye strain. Uh, so I've added the ability to change the theme of Play Live to a dark theme, which is actually now even made the default. So I'll demonstrate this in a minute, but let's change to a dark theme on here as well. Beautiful. Next time to talk about is the built-in remote management server. So those of you who are familiar with Play Manager, this is the same remote management that's in Play Manager but it's built in to play it live so you can easily just switch it on and begin remotely managing your data. This means you don't have to move all that uh, data to play it manager or uh, rebuild it entirely. The remote management server is a premium module requiring the paid for remote management module. Uh, more information on the modules in a minute. The next item to talk about are the new VU meters on live assist players. VU meters are a way of showing the levels of a track while it's playing. This is a new addition to the live assist players uh, to just give you an indication of which track is playing and at what level. Next up we have the R over and under run indicators. This is a new section on the live assist log which shows you how far over or under the R you are. So this is useful if you are planning to back time up to the top of the R and need to know which tracks to remove or add. Next thing to mention are the changes to manual, semi-auto and auto modes in Live Assist. So more feedback from users. Basically, this was quite confusing. Uh, it wasn't particularly clear what manual, semi-auto and auto modes were. Uh, there was a lot of uh, support burden on explaining this to some users. So this has been totally removed and replaced with two separate buttons, one for switching on the player log scheduler and one for switching on automation. Uh, these two buttons have the same effect as the combined uh, manual semi-auto and auto mode changes. Uh, any updates for this are in the documentation if, you're, if it's unclear, uh, but hopefully those two buttons are a lot more clear what they are doing. Next is the advanced audio settings. Uh, more feedback from users. Uh, there were a number of reports where the audio was skipping or stuttering, particularly on slower computers. Uh, so I've added the option to increase the buffer time beyond the default of 500 milliseconds. Uh, increasing this will allow Windows uh, to buffer the audio ahead of time, uh, therefore decreasing the chances of skipping or stuttering. And finally, the update to licensing. Uh, so don't worry, the core functionality of Play Live will still be free. Uh, there are no changes there. The licensing has been updated to support modules on your Play It Live license. So Play It Live license used to previously just be a key uh, with uh, no additional information on it. The new key will support uh, any number of additional extras that, uh, that we want to add in the future. So there are two premium modules for Play It Live that you can add to your license. There's the voice tracking module, which was previously applied by installing Play It Voice Track alongside Play It Live. Uh, this is no longer required. And the remote management module, uh, new for this version to enable the remote management server in Play It Live. So if you purchase any of these premium modules, uh, either by subscription or by buyout, then your Play It Live license will be updated to reflect that purchase. So if you make a purchase of one of the modules, uh, just refresh your license in Play It Live and it will automatically update to enable that module. So those are the new features in Play It Live version 2.0. Now here's a demo. So this is Play It Live version 2.0. The first thing you'll notice of course is the new dark theme. The entire user interface has been revamped for this version enabling the ability to change the color of any element on the main user interface. So we've added the dark and light themes, but there's no reason to say in the future that other themes could be added as well. If you have any ideas for themes, if you want to mock anything up, 
and uh, show them to other users, please feel free to comment on the bottom of this video. So we want to change to the light theme. Everything's just done under settings. So I'll go to file and settings. And I can change my theme to light and click OK. It'll flick back to the light white theme if that's what you prefer. Switching back to the dark theme now, you'll notice at the bottom right that the semi, the manual semi-automatic and auto modes have been removed and replaced with a log scheduler and automation. So I switch the log scheduler on, it will automatically schedule the log in the future with all these tracks going forward. If I switch on automation, it will start playing and restrict me from editing the log as you would expect in automation. So switching automation on, uh, the Take That song has started to play and the new VU meters have kicked in on the left hand side to show you the levels for those tracks. If I want to stop that, just switch the automation off and uh, click the stop button. As you can also see at the top right of this uh, of this R is the overrun of 12 minutes and 45 seconds. So actually that means we're now overrunning on the R, and the log scheduler will try and keep uh, try and keep adding tracks uh, to the R to make sure that there are enough tracks to fill the R. So I'll just switch that off for a second uh, to stop it adding any more tracks. If I just remove some of these songs now, you'll see that we're now uh, under running uh, from, for that R. So I can just drag and drop tracks onto here and it will um, just pick up the, uh, it'll just keep updating the R here and I'll just keep dropping in one more and you'll see that I'm overrunning. Uh, by two minutes, which is better than underrunning, I guess. So we've mentioned the dark themes, we've mentioned the VU meters, and we mentioned the over and under R indicators, and of course the changes to manual, semi-automatic, and auto. So the final thing to mention is the built-in remote management server. So if we go to File and Enable Remote Connections, this will give us the option to configure the remote management server. So this is a, for those for the technical details, this is a web server built in to Play It Live, which allows you to edit the Play It Live data and synchronize Play It Live data with other Play It Live instances uh, via a web interface. So first thing you need to do is switch this on and it will run on this port and then you can click on the uh, URL here to open it in the web browser. So the first thing you'll see here is the uh, the web interface. This is Chrome and I need a password to get in. Uh, when you first launch this, uh, you won't require a password, but I recommend that you set one uh, via settings. So you'll see here, this is the web interface to allow me to edit uh, the tracks. As you can see here, we have um, 100% can't wait for Saturday. I'm sure people in the UK are familiar with this tune with the uh, Anton deck. Um, so I just flick back to play it live and show you this track on the web interface. You can see here that um, this is 100% featuring uh, Jennifer John. Uh, if I want to change this to just be 100% and move the featuring part into the uh, title. I can just click on edit, remove the featuring and uh, Let's just drop it in um, into here. And I'll just go down to save. So you've got the waveform here if you want to, to listen to the track as well. And you hit save. And if I go back to my web interface, you can see that, or sorry, my main interface, you can see that the title has been updated. So this allows you to remotely edit any of the player live data and have it automatically update on the UI. You can still connect to Play It Manager or um, or another Play It Live instance. Just click, go to uh, sync with remote server, and I have another server running uh, on my on my network called Play It Box, and I can connect to this, and it will switch my um, Play It Live data to a, the Play It Manager instance. So as you can see, quite an, 
an amount of uh, of changes have been made to the user interface as it's switched to a different set of data which has no log and a small set of tracks which have been added. And you can see the process changes that we're going through there as well. If I disconnect, we'll switch back to my normal play live data and return to where we were. So that's all the new features in Play It Live version 2.0. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I've been Jason Allen for Play It Software.